Here we have the coding strand of DNA. Once transcribed, it becomes this, mRNA strand in light blue, with all of the thymine replaced with uracil. Once translated, the amino acid sequence is this in green. This shows the wild type, not mutated DNA, mRNA, and amino acid sequences, respectively. Using this mRNA strand, we will see the effects of four types of point mutations or single nucleotide mutations. This is one of the mutant mRNA strands. And as we can see, the uracil in the fourth codon has turned into an adenine, making this an example of a transversion. The mRNA sequence may have changed, but the amino acid chain actually remains the same, and the alanine being what is translated. This is an example of a silent mutation, where the genome has changed, but there is no change in expression or phenotype. This is probably the best mutation to have, too, because it causes no problems. Here's the next strand of mutated mRNA. The cytosine in the third codon has become a guanine, making the, this another example of a transversion. The amino acid sequence shows that we actually have a different amino acid. It is now lysine, where it was asparagine. This is an example of a missense mutation, because the genome has changed and the amino acid is also different. There is no way of knowing if this mutation is actually detrimental to the organism or if it will even help the organism, but we know, do know that this protein is now physically different than it should be. This strain of mRNA has also been mutated. The last guanine in the second codon has become an adenine, which is an example of a transition. This amino acid chain now only contains a methionine, making it pretty useless. This is a nonsense mutation because the protein is now nonsense to the cell. Lastly, we have this mRNA strand where the adenine in the sixth codon has become a guanine, another example of a transition. This gives us a very different amino acid chain and with three new amino acids added since there is no longer a stop codon. This is a read-through mutation where the ribosome simply continues to translate the mRNA for longer than it should and creating a different protein.